A mistake that I've watched more than one person make when working with power supplies is forgetting about the filter caps and just how much power they can hold. Now this particular power supply is out of an old Epson printer. Uh, it is a 40 volt and 1 volt power supply. It's really odd. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate just how much power can be left in a cap even after only a few minutes on or even a few seconds on. So we're going to plug that into line voltage there and now if I take my voltage probes here and come up here and probe the output voltage you've got one volt there and 41 volts there like I said it's a fairly odd power supply but it's only been on now for a few seconds and we're going to disconnect the power and we'll flip it over here and we're going to check first this cap that cap has a hundred and sixty volts in it right now it's going down pretty quick but it's still pretty high now this other cap this other filter cap over here has 31 volts or I'm sorry 37 volts in it now just to give you an idea how much this is I'm going to take a crappy little screwdriver here we're going to discharge this cap That was uh, quite a bit. And this one here. Even that one was still a fair bit of uh, zap to it. And now even after doing that, that cap still has 5 volts in it. Don't disrespect your caps.